Hi guys, welcome back. Today I am sharing our master bathroom kind of reorganization and trying to figure it out. If you saw my last video, I went shopping at Home Goods looking for a couple things to just help us organize our bathroom a little bit. I'll insert a before of the bathroom right now so you guys can see if you missed the last video, kind of give a little bit of an overview of what the bathroom currently looked like. Since then, we did put a little cabinet above the toilet and then we also got this shelf and Joshua put it together. It was from Amazon. So I'll show you guys that in just a second. In my last video, my home goods video, I walked out with nothing, but then just the other day, I went back in and I bought a couple things. I thought about it and I'm like, you know what? I need these. I talked about them in the video and they're just these clear acrylic drawers. I thought these would be great for, well really some of you had told me you use them under your sink in your kitchen, which I think they would be really great for that too, for organizing sponges, dish pods, stuff like that. But I'm gonna use them in the bathroom under the sink because I just have so much junk. I got these from Home Goods, $12.99 and they're stackable, which is awesome. I wanna show you guys these other ones that I had ordered from Amazon because originally I told you guys I had ordered a bunch of stuff from Amazon, which I did. I've already returned something, um, like some storage bins that didn't fit, but these are little acrylic storage bins, kind of similar to the idea of these. You can see this is a lot smaller, but it's taller, which is kind of nice. And then they're also stackable. Here's a smaller one. So I got two of each. After I saw these, got them in the mail, I thought I really need to go back to home because these are so much better. They just feel, they feel sturdier, they're bigger, they're just better. And they're like the same price. I bought these hooks off of Amazon that are gonna go on the shower door. So I'm gonna take you guys up there. We're gonna get started. So you saw my before before, and this is another before. So this is what the bathroom currently looks like. Still have all my junk right here. We've got a cabinet above the toilet now. This is from Menards actually. And then I just threw toilet paper up there, which probably doesn't look super cute. I should probably put like a basket or something up there. I really like the cabinet. It's great. These baskets. You're probably wondering what is happening here. I had told you guys in my last video, I needed some sort of shelf unit here. I also have to patch some holes because I had towel racks here before and we took those down. So I'm gonna have to sand patch those holes, all that. Really, this from Amazon was like the perfect size. I needed something narrow. Um, I needed something not too wide because we do have a light switch here like for the shower. And then I went back to Home Goods. And I showed you guys in the last video a ton of different storage things that they had there. Once I got the shelf unit, I knew what I needed. I found these baskets, which are, I mean, they literally look like they're made for the shelf unit, I feel like. I like that they're tall. Originally, I was gonna do double baskets on each side, but then I noticed it was hard, like with the size of this, to do that. So, these baskets, I think, are great. But, I also found, these, which the reason why I love these is because they have lids on them. So these baskets have lids on them, which I feel like is super nice. I love the lid situation. Because then I can just hide all my crap and nobody has to know. <laughs> so this is the lid situation, which I feel like is really nice. The only thing is, it doesn't take up as much height space, which these are taller. So I just feel like the other ones almost fit the space better compared to these. But I will say, home goods for the win with the baskets. I mean, they have so many good baskets. Because I took down my towel racks, these little guys. I think I saw these originally in like an Instagram reel or something. Or maybe on TikTok, I don't know. But these are kind of cool. We also have some hooks on the back of the door. I think just what needs to be done first is this. I mean, it's just been staring me in the face 
for weeks. Like, what have you done? <laughs> here is, this is my side over here. I already kinda cleaned out some of the things. I might have to make another like target run or something because all of my hair products are right here in this kinda ugly basket. Now I've had it for years, but I almost think it would be nice to do a little turntable there. I'm gonna do the acrylic storage thingies on this side. So that's what I'm gonna get started on now. I almost forgot to show you guys. I ordered this from Amazon too. It's a little corner caddy thing because our shower, there's no shelves in there. We keep like all of our body wash and everything just on the floor in there. So that'll be nice too. I will say home goods. Their tags, Home Goods, TJ Maxx. I mean, we can all be in agreement about this. That their tags are the worst. Like this is a whole project in itself. Why? <laughs> Clips. Started putting a couple things up here, dog shampoo, first aid kit, I think just like random things like I have an extra contact solution, aloe, I think like random things like this I'm just gonna keep up here. So. This tension rod, corner shower thingy, this is gonna be a game changer. Oh boy, I really gotta put it together. Oh boy. Guys, I am seeing a lot of pieces, and this is starting to feel like a job for the husband. Oh my goodness, way too many pieces. Day, of course, just popped into Home Goods. You can see there's a bag back there. So I got a couple more things that I felt like I needed. Now, if you can tell through all the snow, we've made it to Target. I'm looking for some new washcloths and maybe some bath mats, like little rugs and stuff. So let's see what we can find. So I'm very drawn to this. Love the brown, but I'm kind of feeling like some green would be nice to add some color. I don't see the washcloths in this, but selections so far. Kind of like those two. There's also really cute towels on this end cap. I think I got everything I needed and more from Target. We've got like five bathrooms. More, more storage. Made it back from Target and Home Goods. Got a few more things. Got a few options of things. And I'll show you guys. I grabbed this little drawer thing that'll go under Joshua's cabinet. I grabbed this, which I might have that up here. Let's actually make room. I got more bath salts because I just wanted some. I thought this soap dispenser was really adorable. We just have one and keep it in the middle. I got another stackable drawer. And then I got one of these turny things. I got this one from Home Goods, And I compared it to the prices at Target of these and it was a few dollars cheaper. So that's nice. I also just grabbed a couple stacks of washcloths these were only $3.50 a pack, and all the other washcloths there were like $10 per washcloth. I'm like, that's ridiculous. I grabbed a couple like cute towels, and oh, a little mirror. So, as I'm trying to like decorate this shelf and make it cute, I have it pulled out right now because 
I'm patching, but I thought it'd be nice to have a little mirror up here and then whenever we just need to grab it and use it, we can. And then my new hand towels or washcloths will go here. I mean, this is sad. This is a rag. These are all the rugs that I bought from Target today because I needed options. I think I got, how many? One, two, three, four, five. I got five rugs. It was funny. The woman behind me was like, oh, I like all your rugs. We gotta figure out which one we're gonna use in here. I feel like what I have going on right now is, it's not the vibe. Originally, first plan was to go green because I thought it would bring a little color into the room and just be cute. And I like having two, I like having one in front of the shower and one in front of the sink. So, these fit nicely. Another option, I randomly stumbled into this. This wasn't in bath mats, this was in actual rugs. But I thought, this is kind of a nice little statement. And then this rug was so soft. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't leave it. It's so soft. I'm really gravitating towards this, I'm not gonna lie. I really love that. I don't know if Joshua's gonna like that. Or I could have that there and this here, which I really love this too. I gravitate towards the browns. I was feeling like I should add color though, but maybe I don't have to have color. completed bathroom organization kind of glow up whatever you want to call it so I'm gonna give you an overview of everything I organized a lot of things that I did not share in the video too so here we go so much cuter I think my favorite thing now are the rugs and they were Joshua approved weren't they yes <laughs> okay I want to show you guys the cabinets and drawers because I worked a while on those here's my side five little drawers and I ended up getting a paint scraper and like scraping off the tags and that worked really really good and easily so if you guys have some TJ Maxx tags that are hard to get off and then all my products are in this little turny thingy hair products so that works out great I honestly feel so good about this I have hair clips and headbands scrunchies are just all thrown in there so, brushes this is the nail drawer because you guys know I love my press on nails and then our feminine products on top so that's it for my cabinet and then these drawers I did go through and kind of reorganize them a little bit I just have a few of my products my face wash thingy in here I have all of my travel size products tanning stuff and more nail stuff and I just keep them in those bags so felt pretty good about that Joshua's drawer beard and trimmer stuff toothbrush that sort of thing and then another one of my drawer my sweet husband he just doesn't really have that much bathroom stuff so it's really nice I'm able to keep a lot of my stuff in the drawers too and then under his cabinet we just put all of our cleaning stuff over here. I bought this drawer from Target. This is really nice because I have all of our hair cutting stuff in there. Because I always cut Joshua's hair too. And then just his deodorant and hair products that he uses every day. And those are his toiletries for traveling back there too. So I feel like our cabinets are like perfectly organized and it makes me so happy. The towels from Target. I love those. I love that they bring a little color to the room and then it ties in with the rugs really well. So love that, got one for each side. You guys saw our hooks for the shower and I don't remember if I showed this or not, but we, oh, I don't think I did. We got our caddy up and it's just great not having everything on the floor in there, so. 
Really nice, love that. I put this little plant here. We have our tray, a candle, and then we added, oh, the sun's kind of coming in weird right now. We added this piece of art on the wall and I'm obsessed with it. What is so funny, we have not hung any art on any of our walls in this house yet. And this is the first piece. And I told Joshua, what's crazy is this was the first piece of art that we put up in our old house too. It takes me forever to make decisions. So I thought that was kind of funny though. We put up this cabinet and just like two minutes ago, Joshua added these little poles. These I got oh, probably a few years ago from Ikea and I had them on my Ikea cabinet that I'm not even using right now. So we just added them on here and I think it's perfect because all the hardware in here is silver and these have a little silver on it. So super cute. The shelf unit. Guys, I did also try to paint. I've only done one coat of paint on these little holes that I needed to patch and it definitely it needs another coat for sure. Maybe two more coats. So that's my patch job. But um, I got this little mirror from Target, because I think that looks nice here. And then this shelf, we just have washcloths. I added this, because I think this is adorable, with bath salts in it. That's my bath body wash stuff. Then we have just like hair wraps and things, shower caps, things like that. Hair stuff and towels will go down there. I'm doing a load of laundry, so <laughs> that's what is all going over there but it's so nice because I just feel like everything actually has a place now and I feel like it looks really cute so I'm really happy with it. I think eventually we were just talking about like how we would like to completely remodel this bathroom one day. I don't think it's going to be something that we do soon because it will be a huge major project and expense. This project I counted it up, cost me $500 with everything that I got, like the cabinets, bookshelf, all the baskets, everything that I got, rugs, everything, um, 500 bucks. So I think to completely remodel, it'll be a little more expensive. <laughs> it was just a cute little glow up. I could see myself eventually maybe wanting to change out all of the hardware to black hardware or change out maybe the faucets, things like that. So those are things we might eventually do or we might eventually just gut the whole thing. Who knows? So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this fun little organization project. Hope it inspired you. If you guys have some organizing you want to do at your house, I can get you some cute links for anything if you were looking for something that I showed in today's video so check out the description box give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new or haven't subscribed yet and I will see you in my next video